Hello and welcome to Cars, Drones, Computers. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 24 volt max lithium ion, two amp hour battery. That is for the Cobalt Brushless series of uh, cordless power tools. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this battery and see what's inside. They only charge about $20 for these. So I'm curious to know if they're actually making money on these or if they're selling them at a loss just in order to keep their ecosystem going. So let's go ahead and take a look. They have four torque security screws here. I'm going to pop these screws out. And that's it. Pop it apart right there. So this has got some holes right here. It looks like a little piece of vent in there. And then you have some Samsung 18650s. I do like that it looks like they have some uh, water resistant coating here placed on everything. This here's your little button that shows you what kind of charge you have on this. But this looks like an incredibly cheap source of good 18650 cells. Let me go ahead and uh, see if I can get into it a little bit farther here. There we go. So this is six Samsung 18650 cells. So what I'm going to do now is see if I can slide the ends of this off a little bit. And uh, there's a screw right here and a screw over here. So let me see, they have everything kind of soldered together here, but I'm wondering if I can maybe slide it apart enough to finish reading this. I'm gonna guess it's 2000 milliamp since it's a two amp hour battery. Okay, so they just solder each one and it goes right in here onto the circuit board. Everything's got some nice space and everything in between. it. So let me see here if I can get these. It's really quite the simple design. Probably have uh, some of your smart battery uh, Function in here, can't really see what's under this, but it is nice that they put a cut coating on this for most of it. So hopefully if it gets a little bit wet, it won't completely get ruined. The reason that these don't want to come apart really easily is these containers have negative and positive. I'm trying to see, it almost looks like they are, yeah, they're basically soldered on there. Kind of looks like a miniature spot weld and that's connected directly. So I can't slide this cap off because of, so I don't want to ruin this. Now these are what I was able to see by barely peeling up this plastic piece. These are the Samsung 2000 milliamp 20R batteries. And if you were to order a thousand of these batteries, they'd cost you $3 each. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, $18 just for the batteries. And that's if you had a thousand. If you or I were to buy only 10, it'd be a little about a little over $4 per cell. So you figure four times six, this would be about a $24, $25 pack. So economies of scale has definitely dropped the price down because that's just for this. This doesn't include any of this housing or any of these chips. Uh, or any of these uh, metal tabs here that intersect with the dr drill or whatever 24 volt tool that you're using. I'm going to put this back on here. So if I were to slide that on right, just like that, everything works. When you first try to power it on, a little red light flashes right there on it. Right there. As soon as you, I guess that's what's turning on the, the battery pack as well. Just for fun, I have a Porter Cable 20 volt lithium one and a half amp hour and a Porter Cable 20 volt uh, two amp hour battery. I'm gonna open it up. I assume most of these batteries all have 18650s lithium ion cells, but I'm curious if they're Samsung or not because these batteries cost like $60. Some of them, I think I got this one on clearance, already returned to the store for $26. These here are I think 30 bucks, but uh, let me go ahead and uh, put this back together and then open these up to see what kind of quality you get. Plug it in. That works good. What about y'all? Anybody ever actually pretend they're putting a magazine into their weapon just, just like that? And you're like, I'm ready to go. Ready to go shoot some screws. Open this one here up. Interesting. Uses the same bit. Let me get it to pop out. Here we go. All right. A little spring there. That's for the latch mechanism, but this is already way more flimsy pack 
Huh. These here cells. Okay, there's a number on them. Let's see what they are. This is actually a one and a half amp hour battery, which is incredible considering how much it costs. But these are 1600 milliamp cells. So it's actually a 1.6 amp hour. But overall, the construction's not nearly as good. I suppose it's interesting they use individual wires here instead of uh, just coated copper wire. But uh, I suppose if you had some of these cells go bad, you could upgrade them with the cobalt cells. So for $20, you could rejuvenate your uh, old packs. We'll pop this back in here. Set that to the side and uh, check out this other one here. Now those cells also cost about $350 to $4, which is kind of a typical price for an 18650. Um, I would presume that the uh, larger amp hour, like the four amp hour or the six amp hour, would just have an additional row of batteries in the same cell series configuration style, so you get similar voltage. And if you also notice that these packs have one less cell, they only have five cells, instead of the uh, six cells that you got in the cobalt pack. And this one has even another type of battery. Let's see here. Similar controllers, different wires. Okay, here they actually use more of the cobalt style. Um, let's go ahead and have a look at these. These are purple. From what I can tell, these are like a 1300 milliamp cell. <clears throat> Seems to be a kind of a straight from China cell. I can't really figure out. It says LG, which I thought maybe these are LG cells, um, but I don't have direct confirmation. Just interesting. They use even a lower quality battery in their black packs. I'm really interested to know what DeWalt uses. I'm curious if DeWalt uses the same style of uh, battery in here. But uh, overall, pretty impressed for $20 what you get here with the uh, actual battery read and everything. I mean, you compare it to, granted the Porter cable is a little bit old. The new Craftsman line that they have at Lowe's is uh, similar in, uh, in their molds, I noticed. I think the batteries are a little different, but it's still similar tools and everything. So nothing really changed there. So overall, pretty impressed here. I guess you're spending a little bit more money on your tools, so that way you don't have to spend quite as much money. Um, I don't imagine there, there's hardly any profit margins on this here, so these are incredible value for what you get. Um, I know they have a one and a half amp hour, too, for like $16 or $17. I recommend you getting this. The $20 one's about the best bang for the buck. I think they have a $50 one that's four amp hour, so you're better off just buying two of these. Um, but these go out of stock pretty frequently, and also, I mean, I'm sure for other products, they really have, uh, these are really good sells for all kinds of different projects. So even you could, you could even uh, rejuvenate your uh, laptop battery if you needed to with some of these. So anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching this episode of Cars, Drones, Computers. And uh, if you liked today's video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Please go ahead and hit that like button. And uh, you all have a good day. Bye for now.